Okay, guys. Well, just let me, let me, I need to see myself. There we go. We'll start the video on here. time. Guys, let me, um, I, I hate doing this, but I'm just going to mute, uh, mute everybody. Hello, that is bad. Right, that is the last technical problem I am going to have today. Okay, I promise you. I pro and I've got a big day ahead. So you know, I've got a longer day. You guys come to the end of your day. I am coming to the beginning of my day. So they are enough technical problems for me at all. So welcome to all my Kiwi friends. Um, hands up if we're in the South Island, and hands up if we're in the North Island. Hey, oh, well, we've got a good mixture there. So, Kiora, welcome, and um, thank you for joining us. This is something we are going to be doing monthly. And let me add Amanda Russell in. This is something we're going to be doing monthly, and I want you guys to really. Come and turn up for your business because this is a great place where you can learn, you can grow, um, you can get some motivation because motivation is only temporary. You can walk away from this feeling good and motivated and then in 48 hours you need to find some more motivation. But this is a great little motivation platform for you. Um, one thing, it's like I've got double vision. I love it. You know, I've got my twin brother. Oh my God, look at that. We're even saying the same words. Um, one thing I've all, we, we've been working hard in New Zealand for, since it launched, which I think is nearly six years in March. And one thing we always hear from Kiwis um, is, um, oh, it's all about the Australians. So that is something we want to cure. We want to create a nice hub for you Kiwis, where you can come once a month and listen to some of your awesome Kiwi leaders, get some great tips based on your country, um positive great tips I'm not, we're not here to talk about the out of stock we're here to talk we're, not, we're here to talk about solutions rather than problems okay so this is a safe place for you guys to come and learn come and get in, in some inspiration over the next 12 months new zealand i i i'm the last one to ever make an excuse but i can tell you right now from having a global group and being able to watch all sensi figures all over the globe you know even though you guys have managed to make great sales and do great recruiting, you've not had it easy. You got some products taken away for a whole month, then everything got stuck, and then you entered the, the same problems everybody else has been having. So 2020 for New Zealand has probably been a bit of a head wreck, but you guys have really, really pushed through that. And after a bit of turmoil and a bit of confusion, always comes greatness. I know that been there got the t-shirt a million at one time so in the next next year when everything starts to settle down again you guys are going to really experience some really serious growth i want you guys to be a part of that because if you choose not to take advantage of that growth someone else will so my job is to make sure you guys take full advantage of that and we're going to give you the opportunity every single month Okay, today is Thursday, the 19th of November. It will be the second Thursday of every single month at this time. Um, so please make sure you tune in. So the three people we have tuned in today, they're giving some training today, who will be giving some training every single month, and um, some of them might be your directors anyway, are we have the awesome Janelle Ratman in Rotorua. You have to excuse my dog, he's outside going absolutely crazy. And um, we got Janelle Ratman in Rotorua. Um, I've been working with Janelle for quite a few years now and full of great knowledge. I remember when I first met Janelle um, and I got on a Zoom with her and she was like, she was like this. I was like, geez, will this lady talk now? Jesus, man. 
Um, we, we have to have a five hour slot so we can finish it. I'm only joking. But she's certainly not the timid, shy um, person she was when she first joined this business. I'm sure she wasn't shy personally anyway. Um, so she's going to be sharing her story with you today. Some great, seen loads of growth from her over the last few years, not just in her business, but in her personal, um, being a personal business, independent business person too. And then we have, we have Teresa Platt. Oh my God, if you don't know Teresa, she's the one with the really sensible hair. Um, doesn't look, you know, <laughs> she's the lady with the real sensible hair, the red streak. Um, and this lady, oh my goodness me, you know, this is like your Red Bull in New Zealand. Yeah, this is the lady who's going to give you a bit of Red Bull. Um, you know, you're going to feel like you're wide awake at nine o'clock, which is good. Okay, but make sure you get up in the morning and still feel wide awake. And I've seen Teresa progress, oh man, incredibly over the last few years. Managed to um, quit her full-time job last year. Um, in, I'm trying, oh man, throw me in. Is it Blenheim? Is Teresa in Blenheim? Blenheim, 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 Blenheim. So Teresa's going to be, you know, Teresa, Teresa has been suffering some health issues recently and still works her business, was in hospital. Not just, she hasn't just had a cold, she's had some serious health issues and still managed to smash. She's done about 2,000 POV already this month, okay, with all these issues, which everybody keeps talking about, okay? There's only, there's only problems if you make them problems. There's always solutions if you make solutions. Okay, so Teresa's going to be talking about how she did that. And then we got the awesome Leanne Hopgood in Dun Eden, um, who, once again, seen some huge personal growth and business growth over the last few years. Great, full of great knowledge. Awesome when it comes to teaching about a VIP group. 2,000 PRV every single month without fail. Actually, 2,000 PRV is a bad month. It doesn't matter. I think she sold 2,000 PRV of soap that month. So did you sell two, the soap month? The soap and... You know, I call it the soap and hand sanitizer month. You sold, sold 2,000 PRV when, you know, you really didn't have any products, okay? And she's going to talk to you today about Altios. We've got some big Altios coming up next week, but, you know, Sensi is basically based on Altios all year round now. So don't just think of next week. Think of December, January, February, March. So we are going to hear from these guys. Um, but first of all, we have the very quiet... And shy Janelle Retma. I'm going to ask to unmute Janelle, and she's going to share her story with us today, which I listened to last week, which was quite awesome. I'm relatable. Hello, Janelle. Are you there? Kia ora. How's it Hello. going? I'm doing well, thank you. Are you? Very good. Thank how you. Come when we, how come when we have an individual Zoom, your like quality of your video is really bad, but now you know it's kind of top, you know, because you speak because to Because I've taken. I've taken over the lounge tonight. Everyone's been kicked into their bedrooms. <laughs> okay, I thought it was because you speak to your fellow country people, you're making it look BM. Good. <laughs> okay, I will, I will let you talk, Janelle. Please share your story. And then I've got to make um, my video. I've got to make my video clear for the important people. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> you, you sure have. You sure have. I'll pass it over to you, Janelle. <laughs> cool. Thank you, Scott. Right. Hi everyone. Um, so Scott's asked me to share um, my story. So my name's for you, for those who don't know me, my name's Janelle Rettemeyer um, and I promoted to director in June this year during, a pan during the pandemic, which I never ever expected to do. Um, it was my goal to promote to director this year before SFR. Um, uh, and I wasn't sure if I would be able to do it <laughs> once the pandemic struck, but um, I did it and that's one of the Probably one of my proudest moments so far. Um, I have, I do have a few little ones dotted around, but that um, so far has been probably my biggest moment. Um, so, my story, you you will hear some incredible stories in this business. There are so many people, so many consultants that have these amazing, inspiring stories. I'm actually not one of them. <laughs> I don't have this amazing story that um, where I had all these hurdles that I had to jump over and I had a bad upbringing and I, I ha I've had an amazing life really. Um, so, but I, for me, I feel like Scott said, I feel like I am relatable. Um, I'm just like everyone, you know, I'm just like all of you. I'm, I'm a mum. Um, I'm a stay at home mum actually at the moment. I'm in between jobs apart from sensing. Um, so yeah, I am relatable. And, um, you know, hopefully, if anything, uh, my story can inspire you to believe in yourself and know that you can do 
you can promote and meet your goals and fulfill your dreams as well doing in this business. So I joined in 2016, but really I think my story probably, my journey actually probably started in 2012. So in 2012, my fiance, he decided he wanted to go to university for four years to study engineering. So he was in his 30s and our son was seven months old. And I was like, how what the heck? <laughs> what, how am I going to cope? Um, so I didn't drive either. So that was another, that was another challenge. Um, but while he was away at uni, you know, I thought, I really need to find something for myself. And if he can start, basically start again in his 30s and find his passion and follow his dreams, then I can do the same as well. So I knew I wanted to be my own boss. I knew I wanted something for myself. I just didn't know how I was going to make that happen. So I took, you know, even after four years, <laughs> I went back and forth with all these things that I was going to do. Um, I was going to own party themed shops and I was going to, I was going to do all sorts of stuff. But, you know, to get the, to get started, whoa, hundreds of thousands of dollars. So, um, one of my daughter's um, my daughter's friend's mothers at primary school at the time. She was a sensei consultant. She was one of she's one of the OG girls in New Zealand. Actually, I'm pretty sure she joined on the first day or within the first week. Um, so she approached me one day um, and asked me if I wanted to try a sensei warmer. She explained what it was, and I was like, "No, I'm not interested." Um, and then that was that. And then she asked me again. This is this is how I think it happened anyway. <laughs> This is a while ago now. And then she approached me again and asked me if I wanted a borrow bag. And I thought, you know, why not? She said, you know, I didn't, it was, there's no pressure. I didn't have to buy anything. Um, as soon as I plugged that baby in, I was instantly hooked. I, I just thought it was amazing. And coincidentally, around the same time, my sister who was gifted a warmer, I was, wanted to have a party because she wanted to, she um, is probably the biggest bargain hunter I know, so she didn't want to pay for anything. So she was going to have a party and I thought, right, I'm going to go to this party and see what it's about and see if I like it. So I went to her party and I was mesmerized by the consultant. I just was, I was hooked straight away on the business as well. And I was, I just thought, right, I can see myself doing this. I really, really want to do this. So not long after that, I did join. I had, um, the, the month that I joined in August 2016, they had a, so you guys would all know about the Shooting Star. Um, the, the, when I joined, the Shooting Star um, was, the Shooting Star kit was free if you earned it um, when you joined in August. Um, so I was two days out from my deadline of, of the, the cutoff for Shooting Star, and I had only about $250 in sales, and I was gutted. And I went to bed on the Saturday night, and I thought, I'm not going to get this. And I was really, really down. And then on Sunday morning, I woke up and I thought, screw this. I need that kit, um, and I'm going to get it. So in about 48 hours, I managed to get over $700 in sales and I earned that shooting star kit for free. Um, so that for me was like, oh, that, that feeling, <coughs> excuse me, that feeling was so amazing. And I hadn't been, apart from having my kids, I hadn't really been that proud of myself for anything I'd done in a while. So that really gave me a kick up the butt and got me really excited for this business. Um, I also earned a sensational start after that. Um, and that got me after, and you know, that sort of gave me even more confidence to go forward. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at my notes. Um, da, 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 da. So the first incentive that rolled around when I, after I joined, I think was the Mediterranean cruise. So that's always been on my bucket list is going, doing a Mediterranean cruise like exactly doing a Mediterranean cruise and I thought oh my god I'm so going to I'm going to earn this and then I saw the incentive points that you had to earn and I was like okay I'm never ever going to earn that and I didn't because I told myself that I couldn't and I didn't understand how the incentive points work so a big tip guys you know we're nearly at the end of the Fiji incentive at the moment but a big tip is make sure you understand how the points work for the incentives because yep it's a challenge it should be it's a free trip but it is it is achievable so I didn't achieve the Mediterranean cruise I was absolutely gutted but I didn't have I had no one else to blame but myself I didn't work hard enough and I didn't make make the point of understanding how it worked um the following year though was Mexico and I was Definitely going to earn Mexico, and I did. Uh, that was so. That was my first incentive trip that I ever earned, 
oh my gosh, it was the most amazing trip. And I hear, I'm pretty sure Scott and Alexandra said um, that it was the best one that they've ever been on. So I think it was just because of all us first timers that had made that trip, hey, hey Teresa? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that was that was my first taste of an incentive. And I, oh, you guys, you just, you have to go for them, eh? Um, New York, I earned a New York and Bermuda one as well. Sadly, um, we obviously couldn't go. Um, Teresa and I, Teresa Platt and I, we were going to be roomies in New York and we had paid to go see a Yankees game and we were going to do all these amazing things. Um, sadly, we didn't get to go, but Sensi did look after us. So um, you guys are definitely in the right business, you know. So um, keep going, don't give up. Um, in May, beginning of May, so when we were in the pandemic, I had a team of 20 and I now have a team of uh, 61. So, you know, don't give up guys, keep going. I know that it's hard with the, the out of stock stuff, but as you heard before, Teresa and Leanne are just cranking it with their PRV. They always get over 2000. Um, so it's, and that's because they focus on what's available, not, not what's not available. So, um, you know, keep pushing through guys. Um, I don't know, Scott, do you want me to take questions or anything? So you basically, basically all I'm, all I, all I really want to say is, you know, I just wanted to tell my story and show you guys that, you know, I'm, like I say, I'm not, I'm no one special. <laughs> I'm not a rock star recruiter or um, I never, I don't have the highest PRV every month, but I'm, I don't give up. Ah, Janelle's a bit of a, <laughs> she, she is a bit of a high shoot on the PRV. Uh, Janelle's specialty training is normally the top club, but <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think that would be appropriate to do that training today because that might wind a few people up there. <laughs> yeah. that, we've, got a few, we've got a few tops coming out tomorrow, correct? Only just the one, I think. Just the one. Just one, Hello Water. Is that a good one for you guys? Yep. And next oh, one. Oh, this for me. <laughs> this for you. So, guys, you best get your tub orders in. Um, for next week, but you can also get top 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 orders through your Sensi Club as well. So mm. you know they are set aside for that. But next week, next week you have more tops coming into now, yeah. Twenty seven. Uh, I haven't even looked to be honest, but yes, I'm yes, yes, yes. Okay, so anyway, so when Janelle does a top club training, we know that the top club is back in action. Okay, she does not. Yeah, so honest, honestly, the the tub doing a tub club once we get more fragrances back is going to be a massive boost to to your PRV guys because Kiwis and Aussies love they love the whiffs, so the it's a real good fun to special. But if you are a big tub club fan, and obviously you can see supply and demand is very popular at the moment, we've also got a stretch because we've got a wide range of products. So guys, if you rely on tub club. You're probably hurting at the moment, but you know, we've got diffusers, we've got warmers, we've got Disney products, we've got pet products, we've got these little bitty buddies, you know, which are, you know, mm. fantastic. So, um, yeah, so Tub Club is hopefully we'll be back soon for you guys. But while they come out, use it like an LTO, get some orders. But thank you for sharing your storage now. Um, are, you a party, are you a star party right now? Oh, no, we ended up moving it to Tuesday. Okay, okay. So Janelle yeah. was supposed to do the start part this evening, but she changed it till Tuesday. But, um, okay, thank you for sharing your story, Janelle. And, yeah, it is a good story. It is your story. Your story's different. And it, is, it does inspire others, okay? Just because you didn't have a dodgy upbringing doesn't mean your story's not good. <laughs> <laughs> okay? I'm so just trying to talk much. it down. I'm, I'm just talking it down so that people, like, speak <laughs> very minimal. And then it's like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and Janelle lives in the beautiful Rotorua, which is very beautiful, but just smiles a little bit. But it's very beautiful. So, um, Best place to be a consultant. Best place to be a consultant. So thank you very much, <laughs> Janelle. Next up, we have the lady with the sensible hair. Very sensible hair. Um, Teresa Platt joining us. 2,000 PRV, guys. Come on. That's, this lady's going to show you how she does it and how to wipe away the excuses. Hi hey guys. There we go. Hello, Scott. We go. Good morning, good, day. good evening, Teresa. Yeah, where am I again, Scott? 
Where, where, what do you mean, where are you again? Oh, what? Jesus. Lenin. <laughs> Lenin. Lenin. <laughs> I've actually been Blenheim. to Blenheim. Blenheim. Blenheim, wine country. Blenheim, wine, the whole of New Zealand's wine country. Is that where Martin's... No, 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 no. Blenheim is wine country. Wayne, Blenheim is wine country. I've been all over New Zealand, but I've not been to Blenheim or Taranaki if you're on here. So they're the two places I've really <laughs> not been to. And Nelson. I've not been to Nelson. So um, I will let you do the talking, Teresa. Thank you for joining us. And the share with these Kiwis some awesome value. <laughs> hey, guys. So I have not written any notes because I don't write any notes because I just go off the cuff. So basically, if you don't know who I am, I'm Teresa Platt. Um, I've been in the company now for just over five years. I'm a director in May, again, like Janelle in the pandemic in um, New Zealand. I'm a director. Wow, that's just, it's just crazy. <laughs> um, I have an amazing team who we've got Karen and Kat here that are on my team. So that's cool. <laughs> um, and yeah, so PRV. So when I talk about PRV, I talk about one word and the one word is consistency. Okay. If, if you are not consistently working your business or consistently posting about the products, um, then you're not going to get the PRV. So a lot of people say to me, how do you get 2000 PRV every month when you don't do any parties? Because it's true. Most of the time I don't do any home parties at all because no one wants any home parties. I don't know why I, I put it out there and all that sort of stuff, but people don't want home parties. So, you know, I get a lot of people going, but how do you get your PRV? And it's quite simple. It's I, I am on the buy sale pages constantly every day, not just about the business opportunity, but also the product. So for an example, I have probably done, and this is why I end up in Facebook jail so many times. <laughs> I've probably done 40 posts, maybe 50 posts today on product posts and maybe probably 25 on the opportunity. I'm in about a thousand groups, so I can, I can rotate it around. But it's not only the buy sell pages that you're going to get um, PRV from. You need to have a customer base. And in order to get a customer base, you need to be talking about the products to every single person. So as Scott said before, I did give up my full-time job to take on Sensi. Um, I have recently just um, started a part-time job because I just wanted to get out of the house for a bit. So an example being this part-time job is only three days a week. So I went there and I've been doing this part-time job this, well, for one week. And people have been like, wow, what is this you know, business that you're doing? And so I've probably picked up about another three more customers so far. <laughs> Janelle, you said it. You said that I was going to recruit all my bloody, all the team at the part-time job. Well, <laughs> I'll get orders from them anyway. But it's, it's all about talking about um, how to get orders and all that sort of stuff. And the follow-up. Everyone says it. Scott says it. Alexandra says it. Everyone says it. Follow-up, follow-up, follow-up. Because if you don't follow-up, you don't get the sale. Um, I have had, with the Sully Buddies, so I'll give you an example with the Sullys. I'm, I'm pretty good with my buddies anyway because I've got a couple of um, people that love the buddies. But I boosted a post that cost me, I think it was $12 over three, three days for the Sullys. I also posted on buy sell pages. I also contacted all my customers. I also emailed my customers on my VIP. I also posted on my business page. And I ended up with 15 Sullys and four mics sold. Um, now, 13... Uh, Sorry, 10 of those Sullys were from different customers. One of them was from an Australian customer I never even met. Another one was from, and I hope it's not your customer, but if it was, then I'm very sorry. It just means you weren't posting. It was basically from a customer in New Zealand who saw my post and said, 
she buys off a consultant locally, but her consultant hadn't posted anything about the sullies. So therefore she saw my post and bought off me and she's going to continue to buy off me. So it just goes to show as a consultant, if you're not consistently posting or promoting these products, then you've got to understand that, you know, there's a lot of consultants out there that are going to be doing this. So customer service, customer satisfaction is how you're going to keep the customers. Um, I know this one for the Sully that I, I got, I'm keeping because I've talked to her about the, um, I can't pronounce it, I keep trying, Sven, Sven, I hope that's how you pronounce it, Sven, the, the reindeer buddy. So in a private message, I've, I've, I've posted to her saying that this buddy's coming out and she's all eager about it. So it's all about the communication that you have with your customers and how you interact, I suppose you could say, with your customers. I also have um, an email that goes out with my customers every, every week. Um, some consultants do theirs monthly. I choose to do mine weekly um just because there's so much going on in the sensi world that you need to keep up to date so i have 221 subscribers to my email um list so that goes out and i get orders from that as well so it, it's a hard one but basically what i'm trying to say is by doing this consistently i'm consistently getting 2000 prv and above um last month out of the last seven months I suppose it was the first time that I never got 2000 PRV I got 1780 PRV I think it was um, but again it's just that one word consistency if you're not consistent in following up if you're not consistent in um, posting on buy sell pages if you're not consistent in checking in with your customers if you're not consistent in just just talking to people about the products and showing them and as Scott said showing them products that are available you cannot sell something that is not available and unfortunately some of my team have been promoting products that aren't available and then you know kind of like wondering why they can't get sales so work on what you've got now because we've got hundreds and hundreds of products available now we we may not have the wisp we may not have the body wash it doesn't matter work on what you've got now. You can sell what you've got now. We've still got heaps and heaps of stuff to go. So yeah, consistency. And am I on time? Thank you, Teresa. Oh my God, I love these Kiwis. I did a, um, a call for the region two the other day and they had the 10 minute time slots and I think they did 25 minutes each. Um, so we are on time, but no, thank you for that, Teresa. Um, consistency is the key with everything in your business, and following up, as Teresa said, following up is a big, big thing. It is rude not to follow up. I'm just going to tell you a little story before I pass you over to Leanne. So, we are currently renting a property out, and I need to get together all the information of the tenant so we can see if they can pay the rent blah, blah, blah. And yeah, they can afford to pay the rent. But I looked at their, um, how much they were earning over the last three months pay slips. And I thought to myself, obviously, you know, it's a tenant, so I'm going to keep my business well away from that. Okay. Most people, that's the only exception. I'm not going to talk to her about Sensi. It's, you're running a house, it's private, personal. But I looked at her pay slip for a real good, a good job she has. And I thought, oh my goodness me. If you did 2,000 PRV within your sensory business, you could, you, could earn, you could earn that type of income. Okay, so what I'm trying to say to you guys is, by following tips which Teresa's giving you, um, you can also build an income which can replace your part-time job, full-time job. You know, you can do whatever you want, but you've got to open, open up your ambition and set a goal and just work consistently. If you work consistently, you know, Sensi is a really easy business to do, but it's really easy not to do. Yeah, that is that is one of my favorite sayings. It's easy to do, but it's really easy not to do. So if you do things consistently, like Teresa says, you're going to find great success. Anyway, moving on to our next lady. Um, 
Teresa, 2,000 PRV, no parties. This lady is the party queen, so we've got a good variety of consultants on here today, so you can learn something new from uh, different types of people. Um, is Leanne in Dunedin. I'm currently, do you want to come say hello? Come say hello. I'm currently getting eaten by my dog. Um, so no, no better opportunity than Leanne to come and say hello. Um, so let me just unmute Leanne. I have unmuted Leanne. And let me just. Hi guys. Me Perfect. How are you? Um, as Scott said, I'm Leanne Hopgood, and I'm based in Dunedin. Um, have been a director, probably coming up close to two years now. So I'm talking to you tonight about how to boost your November PRV through the LTOs, which we are have been having and are can, going to continue to get for the foreseeable future with Sensi. So for me, the LTOs are always in addition to what I'm already doing PRV wise. So for me, my focus is always our catalog products, our warmers and wax, our washer whips when we've got them, the fragrant flowers, just whatever. So for the Christmas period, that's what I'm promoting is your warmers and waxes for your Christmas gifts, your fragrant flowers, your car bars and all those sorts of things. So working with my customer base for those and by knowing my customers really well, I then know who to be sharing these LTOs with and where to reach out and find new people to be sharing them with. So for me personally, I share them through my... Um, Facebook VIP group and my Facebook business page. I private message um, my customers. When I connect with any customer, I like to get as many details as possible and as many forms of contact as possible. So obviously their name, their cell phone number, their address, their email. So I can target them all different ways to find out what way is their best form of communication. I've got little old ladies who just love something in the mailbox. I've got others that won't pick up the telephone but will respond to text message. So it's about getting to know those customers and how you can best connect with them. Um, so I send out emails, I use Google Forms, um, like Teresa has talked about, there is your buy sell sites, um, your marketplace, just with um, some of the limited time offers that are coming up with, your, um, with our licensed products, really important to check out the compliance on the workstations so that we are all remaining within compliance and we're advertising them at the corporate pricing and not you know, promoting personal specials um, with prices or images and things like that but there's heaps of awesome training and if in doubt chat to your your sponsor your director or your upline and I know there's some awesome things in the emeralds page about it too um, something I love to do is jump on my workstation and go into the reporting tab and have a little look bring up some reports and look at the product history so I can for the bring back my bars that are going to be launching I can go in there and bring up um, the different fragrances that are coming back and check out what customers have purchased those in the past. So they're the ones I'm going to be reaching out to to let them know, hey, they're coming back on Tuesday. Let's get them in Scentsy Club for you. Do you want to bundle and save for the Christmas? Um, with the uh, Disney products we've got coming or the buddies and things like that, the um, bitty buddies. For me, it's listening at parties and listening to people talking about, the, you know, they're mentioning kids or something like that. I'll often get into the car after a party and make a note, two daughters, a smelly dog, just whatever, that I've got those notes that when they say, hey, we've got this coming, I can go back through and go, okay, these are the people that I'm going to reach out to first. So it's always having in the back of your mind when you see a product launching as to who you're going to be targeting, who you can be sharing it with and ways you can be getting that information out there. Um, with the Bitty Buddies coming up, I have had great success with um, mystery bags for Christmas. They don't know what they're getting. They don't even know they're going to be getting a Bitty Buddy in it. But that's what they're getting. So I have got a, a scary amount of products that I've got to be ordering when they drop on Tuesday. And that is because I have been promoting the mystery bags and things like that as well. So they're in for a surprise and I've got everything crossed that I'm going to be able to get them all secured. Um, for those people that you do have interested in the limited time offers or you know that they're interested in the 
one of the lovely holiday warmers and things like that at those higher price points, I reach out and I actually offer them their own personal shopping link. So they can be sharing with their friends too and going, hey, look, jump on my link. And between them, they're going to get those rewards triggered. So that gives them a little incentive as well to generate you some extra orders by checking in with their friends to see if they want to, you know, combine together for their Christmas shopping. Um, for people, if you perhaps don't have um, pre-orders for things for your limited times that are going to be dropping on, particularly Tuesday in New Zealand, host an online event this weekend. Um, set up within your VIP groups, have a Facebook party and just showcase all those products that are going to be launching on Tuesday. Get their details, get what they're wanting so that when they do drop, you have got those orders sitting there ready to process. Um, I've got parties Friday, Saturday and Sunday this weekend, as well as an online one as well, because people are wanting to capture these things. So it's like I'm back to back trying to share them with as many people as possible. Um, be prepared. Limited time offer. It's only a limited time. The amount of times you see people disgruntled because they missed out they're not going to stick around. So it is about doing the groundwork before they launch so that you are all ready to hit the ground and get those orders um, submitted. And like I said, your limited times are a great way to boost your PRV, focus on your core products and building that strong customer base. And that then grows the opportunities of where you can reach out to those additional people. You've got a greater reach for your limited time offers as well. Um, and just yeah, like I said, think of those people that people that love the scent of the month each month. Offer them to bring back my bar and a bundle. Those with the kids, it's all the soft toys and things like that. I put a post up asking, you know, who's got their house decorated for Christmas? If they're decorated already, they're the ones that are looking for those holiday warmers and things too. So it's just always trying to find those connections and giving people the opportunity to see what is coming. And like Teresa said, is share it. If you don't share it, somebody else is going to be sharing it with them. So it's like, if you've got that relationship with those people, you want them to think of you. If they, you know, if they're, they trust that you're going to share, know what they're after and share it with them before they see it anywhere else. So just keep building those relationships. Just spend the time in getting the, getting the information out there and the limited times are an amazing way to boost your PRV. And also, like I said, have those um, personal shopping links and it's a great way if they're spending a lot of money, give them the opportunity to jump on board and with their own personal um, Sensi account as well. So that's it from me with the LTOs. If anyone's got any questions, don't hesitate to ask or get in touch. Thank you, Leanne. Oh man, that Leanne spoke just as that crazy five minutes where my daughter exits for school. I gotta hold the dog in because you know the gates open and then the gate closes, I can let the dog out. So sorry if I had to disappear then. But um I heard quite a lot of that and I'll be definitely tuning into um to the recording. Um but when Leanne talks about these LTOs, something I always kind of preach to you Kiwis and to the Australians too, because they are in the same boat. Over here in Europe or the USA, you can basically, you know, get in your car, you're gonna bump into a Disney store. Um, you don't have the, these Disney stores. You guys are the Disney store. So when we talk about LTOs, I, look, I, we've sold, not, not, it's, it's not about me, but I'll give you an example. Me and Alexandra have sold 12 villains warmer so far. Our goal is 15. And am I a villainous fan? Absolutely no way. Never even heard of them before. Okay. Is Alexandra a villainous fan? Absolutely no way. But it's not about us. It's about what our customers want and the supply and demand. And from launching a new country here in Spain, okay, the common theme is Spain has about 30 consultants. No one knows about Sensi in Spain yet, yet, yet. And we've been working it for a few years. It's not been our main target you know we're we we're pretty global and people are like oh sensi it's you know we've been hearing that oh it's expensive well i'll take a borrow bag then they realize it's not expensive it's good quality good value for money but the funny thing is people have complained about a mini warmer have no problem paying 150 euro for a disney product yeah because they're fans and that is it's a great way to convert people to sensi so Use all the LTO advice Leanne gave you. 
I'm going to take you all a challenge from what Leanne said. And it's not about you. If you don't like Donald Duck, I don't like Donald Duck, but I quite happily sell Donald Duck, okay? It's about your customers. It's about what your customers want. So the challenge is this weekend, as Leon said, set up your own online party, maybe in your VIP group, on your business page, with your personal friends, and try and put it out there. Yeah, an online party. Okay, an online party is sitting on the comfort of your own home. Don't watch something on Netflix for now. Set up an online party in the comfort of your own home. You never know. You can make some really good sales. And if you don't make any sales, you've lost no money. You've only lost that thing on Netflix, which you can rewind and watch again whenever you want. But if you keep trying and trying and trying, you will see success. So I want to give you all a challenge on here today, tonight is to set up your own online party for all the products. You've got Bring Back My Bar coming on Monday too, I think, or Tuesday for you guys. you got, oh my God, you've got those bitty buddies. Jesus. Man, they are... People love, people love them in Europe. So make sure you're sharing those. You've got a ton of other products coming. So set up an online party this weekend and then see what you can do. And if you don't achieve any sales, you're not going to die. You're still going to be alive. And that Netflix program is recorded and watchable again. But you just have to keep doing it and doing it. But let's talk about the other side. Not about what could go wrong. What could go right? Oh, my God. You could sell. You could make yourself an extra two or three hundred dollars by selling a ton of Disney products this weekend. So don't think about what could go wrong. Let's think about what could go right. Okay? So that's kind of my message for you guys. Thank you very much, Leanne, Janelle, and Teresa. We will be back on the 8th, 9th, 10th of December. Please come and join us and spread the word. We've got a good crowd on here tonight. I was pretty happy with the crowd we got on. Um, but more, more the merrier, and we will build the momentum. But I'm just going to leave you. If you're a consultant in New Zealand, this is a, an amazing opportunity. It is a ground floor opportunity where you're selling quality products, quality Disney products. And now this pandemic is the pandemic of 2020 is it's not over, but people have got some security, know more about it. It's not a big shock horror anymore. Um, going into 2021. You guys can really build up your businesses. Dream big with your business. Be consistent. Find a goal with your business. Find a purpose and find a goal. So thank you very much for joining us, Theresa, Leanne, and Janelle. And thank you very much for tuning in, everybody. I'm going to put the recording in Team Emerald's page. Um, hopefully, maybe I should load it to YouTube and then it can be easily shared. I'll make it unlisted on YouTube so it can be easily shared. I will try that out now. And please tag in your team members and share with your team members and let them all know. December the 10th at 8 p.m. Yes, 8 p.m. New Zealand time um, would be pretty awesome. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you, Teresa, Leanne, and Janelle. And I shall see you guys in a few weeks' time. Bye-bye.